let's go to another question. Sheikh uh, Sweedy. Yes, sir. Read this question, please. Explain the status of the service palace. Okay. So if I go to this table, this is balance of trade in surfaces. So we export surfaces, we sell surfaces. So an example of surfaces, Emirates Airline, Etihad Airline. So foreigners purchase tickets in our airlines. So we earn money. Foreigners visited UAE as tourists and book hotels, so they spend dollars in their country. So we export surfaces. <coughs> we also import surfaces. We import surfaces. So what's good, we manage to export surfaces which cover most of the expenses by importing surfaces. We got a little soft deficit of around 2 billion dirhams. So we should expand this kind of activities, exporting surfaces, airlines. So we depend on <coughs> tourism. We depend on tourism. So, so the, the government in the United Arab Emirates aims to make UAE more attractive for tourists. So they will come here and spend money. They will activate our uh, economic activities in the country. Let's go to another uh, question. Uh, uh, Ali Umran. علي راشد نعم دكتور علي عمران علي عمران ريد ذا سكوشن ان شاء الله بريدكت هاو وي كان افويد ا ديفليكت ا ديفليكت ا بالانس اوف بيمنتس ان ذا لونج ران اوكي سو اي ام افريد وي ويل فيس ديفيسيت ان ذا لونج ران if the oil of prices decreases and we couldn't manage to expand our exporting industry, so we will have deficit because we have to import everything. How to avoid deficits in the coming years? Read the answer. Ali Umran. نعم دكتور. ريد ذا انسر. ان شاء الله. ذا ذا كروشال ذا كروشال سوليوشن ديفلوبد باي مانيفاكتشرنج ذا كروشال سوليوشن سوليوشن باي ديفلوبينج مانيفاكتشرنج اندستريز اند انفستينج ان اكسبورتينج فاكتوريز. ان اوردر تو ديفرسيفاي نون اويل اكسبورتس ذيس ريكوايرز انفستمنت ان ريسيرش اند انوفيشن. We also should expand offering the international services such as tourism, transportation, and shipping. Okay, so if you see here, in 2019, we got a surplus of 109 billion dirhams. To keep having surplus in the long run or, or to avoid deficit in the long run, we have to focus on these two items, exporting goods and exporting services. Most importantly, to export new goods. How to uh, import new goods? We have to expand manufacturing industries, especially exporting industries, by focusing on research and innovation and the new technologies and IT technologies, and also to expand industries to substitute imports. So imports will decrease 
if we manage to produce items, replace imports. So the, the imports will decrease while we can expand exports. So we will keep having surplus and we will use the surplus to invest it abroad. OK, let's go to another question. These coming questions, I didn't write the answer. I will uh, explain just a hint and you have to write the answer in your assignment. So let me start with this one. Ali Rashid, Fatma Al Qaidi, Maryam Abdullah, Muad. What's your name? Maryam Abdullah. Read the question. Why is the question? I didn't see. You didn't see the question. You didn't see the question. Give, give me a moment. Okay. Could you see the question? Yes. Yes, now, go ahead. Now the table come again. Explain. Explain the status of you uh, cannot spares balance. No, this is uh, a ta table. Yes. Uh, do you know I'm asking you to read the first sentence in okay. blue okay. and you already read it. Thank you very much. Uh, stay with me to read next slide. Sure. OK, Mariam. OK, so what is the transfer balance? See, this is the transfer. So what is the debit? 196. We have two items. Remittances, which means part of wages of expatriates working in the UAE. They send their remittances abroad to their families. We have lots of expatriates. In our uh, country, so they send uh, a huge amount of remittances abroad. Also, our government are generous paying aids to other countries. So during coronavirus pandemic, the government of UAE sends aids to other countries facing difficulties. So we got this number. And we also get a small number at 25 because assume there is an Indian guy uh, send, uh, has an apartment in India. So uh, their family will send him the rent of this business. So if, for example, when I came to the UAE, I brought with me some money to just set up my situation to cover my expenses. So also there is sort of a transfer come in, but this is minor uh, amount. In most countries, for example, in America, these two items are close to each other. That means Americans work abroad, they will send remittances to America, which is a credit, and foreigners working in the UAE will send remittances abroad. So these two items are close to each other. But there is a special case in the UAE since we, uh, lots of our employees are expatriates. We got deficit in the balance of uh, transfers. We got a huge uh, uh, deficit in the balance of uh, uh, transfers and it covers by the surplus in exporting of goods by or the, the balance of trade. So from from where we finance the deficit in the balance of transfers or from the surplus of balance of trade. Uh, Maryam Abdullah. Yes, doctor. Describe the status of the invest, investment income uh, balance. OK, so this is uh, investment income balance. So here a credit 35. 
billion dirhams from where it comes it comes from a profit earned by citizens profit earned by uae citizens by investing abroad so the government individuals companies banks invest abroad so they will earn a profit so they uh, they earn profit so their profit will come in the uae and also foreign foreigners who has investment in the uae they will earn a profit such as oil companies working in the uae we have foreign banks working in the uae we have foreign companies working in the uae they will send their profit to their countries see here the status of the balance of investment income we got surplus why we got surplus because we are a rich country we invest we invest a huge amount abroad over last 20 years especially when the prices of oil were so high so uh, we have lots of investment abroad so we got a surplus and that's great we got a surplus let's go to another question Muad. hand doctor yes uh, doctor please can i leave i'm not feeling well what's your your name hand hand okay yeah. hand. goodbye thank, thank you so much bye bye okay reem khamis Reem Khamis is absent. Sheikh Rashid. Yes, doctor. Sheikh Rashid, read the question. Explain how to calculate the balance of trade. This is the balance of trade. One plus two. So it is easy. Here, what is a balance of trade? It is net exports. Net exports equals exports of goods and services minus imports of goods and services. So again, balance of trade equals exports of goods and services minus imports of goods and services. Or you can directly get the net of each account balance of trade in goods 274 and we got deficit in balance of trade in services so 274 minus 2 equals 272 so this is the way how we calculate the balance of a trade and we got a surplus of 200 72 that means we export goods and services more than we imported in america if you watch in the video they export goods and services less than what they imported so they got a deficit in their balance of a trade sheikh uh, rashid yusuf Sheikh Rashid, read the question. Explain the effect of economic uh, uh, diversification. diversification. Diversification on the balance of payments. Okay, so see here, symbolically, our economy depends heavily on oil. So, our export of goods depends on oil and simple consuming manufacturing products. So the goal is to diversify the economy. What's meaning di economic diversification? To expand other businesses, other sectors rather than oil. So for example, we have to expand manufacturing industries, exporting industries by implementing new technologies. 
uh, by expanding a new project to substitute imports, so that will increase exports and decrease imports. So the economic, as the economy becomes more diversified, less dependence on oil, we will avoid deficit in the long run. We will guarantee surplus in the long run. We will not depend on oil prices. So at the moment, we are so sensitive to oil prices. When we when the price of oil decreases due to international demand on oil, we feel upset because we depend our exports depends on oil prices. So as our economy becomes more di diversified, we will not depend on oil sector. We will depend on diversified a new collection of non oil exports. So that will guarantee good position for the balance of payments in the long run. Sheikha Rashid. Naam, doctor. Read this question. Explain an exa example of one of the UAE companies that uh, yal ya hard currencies to the service balance. OK, so uh, do you know a simple example? Emirates Airline, Emirates Airline as a company, when foreigners purchase tickets or booked flight in Emirates Airline to fly from different destinations, the UAE will earn foreign currencies, hard currencies or dollars. So this is an example. So why I put this equation to put in your mind the importance of such businesses to increase exporting of surfaces. So for example, we have ships transferring oil from UAE to other countries. So this shipment companies will earn dollars by shipping products between different countries. So telecommunication, when uh, foreigners use our uh, network, uh, tourism, when foreigners visit UAE and spend dollars. So the government uh, tries to make UAE more attractive for tourists. So and uh, Dubai becomes a main hub internationally uh, for to attract to uh, tourists. Let's go to another uh, question. Abdullah Isa, Saleh, Abdul Aziz, Yusuf. What's your name? Saleh. Saleh. Let me write your name. Saleh, read this question. The title of the table? No, no, just in blue. Explain. Explain the objective of the Sharjah Export Development Center. Okay. Markaz Tatwir Sadirat في الشارقة تابع إلى غرفة تجارة الشارقة منو عنده معلومات عن هذا المركز أو غرفة تجارة الشارقة منو عنده علاقة شخصية بيهم لأنه أنا محتاج أدعي واحد من عندهم يلقي علينا محاضرة أوكي What are the objectives of Sharjah Export Development Center Two, uh, two, two main projects. Doctor? Number one, yes. Yes, I know someone. I will talk to you, inshallah, after the class. Okay, contact me through email. Contact okay. me through email. You can go to my website. I will show you my email. Salim.eljundi at skylineuniversity.ac.ae. Yes, yes, I have your email. I'm going oh, to send okay. you everything in the email. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, we have two objectives. Number one, 
they provide companies and exporters with information about foreign companies who are willing to import items from UAE. So they will facilitate us how to contact importers. Number two, they give us a training. They give our companies a training how to export items, what are the steps of exporting, which documents should be prepared to export items, uh, how to study, analyze uh, foreign markets. So this is the main objectives of Sharjah Exports. Uh, what's your name, mom? What's your name? Saleh. Saleh. Okay. Lana Omar. Saleh. Read the question. Suggest two strategies to develop UAE export. Okay, do you know uh, the answer may vary between students. My suggestion are number one, companies should focus on high quality. So to be able to export your product to the international markets, you should take care of producing high quality to be able to compete in international markets. Number two, you have to allocate money for technological improvements, for improvements in your product. How to improve your product? You have to invest money in technology, in technology. So I have two suggestions, but you can add more suggestions. Uh, Saleh. Read the question. Evaluate. Evaluate the impact of free export and the balance of trade. Okay, so see here, the impact of free export is much lower than the impact or benefit of our non-oil a product exports the value added created so if we manufacture a product locally and exported the uae will benefit more than re-export what's the meaning of re-export we purchase an item for example from china and resell it without any modification to other countries we export an item from china we put it in our stores in free zone and re-exported again to other countries. So we will get profit margin. We, we will get a profit margin. And actually, some uh, importers, especially in Africa, started to contact China directly. So they avoid visiting UAE, especially after we employ 5% uh, value added taxes. So what are the benefits of this is the negative side. What are the positive side of re-exports? Number one, we will gain a profit from re-export activities. So lots of uh, businesses earn profit from re-export activities. Number two, we gain experience how to enter international markets. This experience will benefit our nation when we set up a new exporting projects. We, we, we already have experience how to contact foreign companies to sell items. Uh, we almost reached to the end. Saleh? Illustrate. Illustrate. How to collect the current account balance? How to calculate current account? This is current account. The answer is here, three plus four plus five. Three plus four plus five. So what is it? three? 
trade of balance to see I will go the first approach to calculate current balance. So I will go to the balance trade of balance, which is number three, 272 plus seven minus 171. It will be 108. This is the first approach to calculate the current account balance. Another approach to calculate the balance of current account, find the sum of export of goods, export of services, income earned, a transfer received, minus imports of goods, imports of services, a profit sent to abroad, remittances sent to abroad. The difference between them, the sum of these four columns minus the sum up of the four uh, figures will give us the balance of, of current account. This is how to calculate the current account. In general, current account include export, uh, balance of goods, balance of services, income, and the transfers. This is last question with uh, Lana Umar. Lana Umar, are you with me? Yes, doctor. Describe the status of the financial account. OK. The status of financial account. See here, as I explained before, we got a surplus in current account, 109 billion dirhams. We invest most of this number abroad, 161. This is our investment abroad. This is outflows investment abroad. Government, individual companies, banks of UAE invest money abroad. And also foreigners invest money in our country. We have three kinds of investment. Number one, it's called foreign direct investment. When we or they, when we or they invest money directly, when we purchase, let me talk about ourselves, 161. We have three kinds of investment. When we invest money, when we purchase assets directly, when we purchase hotel, real properties, part of a company. So this is called foreign direct investment. And the second one, portfolio investment, when we purchase stocks and bonds in their financial markets. Number three, when we give loans and put deposits in international banks. Foreigners also do the same. They invest money directly in setting up businesses in the UAE. They purchase shares and bonds in our financial markets, and they give loans to some companies in the UAE and deposit money in our banks. The difference between them shows deficit. Why it is deficit? Because outflow of money, because we invest abroad, this is outflow of money is greater than inflow money received in uh, in the UAE, so it becomes deficit. So see here the surplus of the current account equals the, since we got a surplus in current account, we will have deficit in financial account and change a reserve. If you check the numbers, one hundred and nine equals the sum of 73 and 35. For this reason, the balance of payment is always balance. So 108 minus 73 minus 35 equals zero. So if we go deficit, we will have surplus in financial account. If this positive financial account will be negative. If, for example, America got got a, a deficit in their current account, so they will have surplus in financial accounts. So Chinese invests money 
in America. So Chinese invest money in America. OK, so uh, uh, the status of financial account, we got deficit of 75. Why? Because we invest abroad more than we imported. For America, since they got deficit, they encouraged foreign investors to come in. For example, China invested money in America by buying assets in America or buying a treasury or American national bonds in America. <laughs> so this is a short explanation of the balance of payments.